Hello everybody, happy Thursday. Today I'm excited to share two great cards with you from the He's the Man Suite from the new annual catalog. My name is Lori DeGroot from Lorita Marie Crafts and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Calgary, Alberta. Chilly Calgary today. <laughs> Chilly cold May day. Um, and I like to come live every Thursday to share fun tips and techniques with you to encourage your own creativity and to get you using your own crafting supplies. Um, I hope everyone is doing well today. Like I said, um, we're going to be featuring the He's the Man suite. And um, the man in my life, we are, he is obsessed with hockey at the moment. Have you guys been um, following hockey? I mean, if you're in Calgary, how can you not? Just jump on the bandwagon, do it, cheer for the flames, whether you normally watch hockey or not, right? <laughs> I always find that um, everyone, like the spirit just fills the city and then it just like what everyone's talking about everywhere you go and it's so much fun. So I say don't resist it and just cheer for the flames for the flames just be sure you're cheering for the right team um first of all i just wanted to just make sure everything's set up here okay i think everything's working yes awesome okay um this month of course the annual catalog is live and so anytime that you want to place an order you can go ahead and feel free to place your order um, for all your favorite products, I'm curious what is number one on your um, wish list if you've already ordered it or you're just waiting for another time to order. Um, yeah, there's definitely things on my, um, I kind of like as a demonstrator, I placed a pre-order for some things right away, but I'm still waiting to place kind of my second order for my like, my super wish list. I got some things <laughs> that I'm super excited about. Um, so before we get to the crafting today, I just wanted to share about my May class. So every month I have a class and um, it features, this month features products from the new um, catalog, of course. So I'm all distracted, sorry. It's um, from the Hues of Happiness suite and it's so, so pretty, right? So when you get my classes, you um, get the tutorial, um, a PDF and a video tutorial for how to make the projects. And then you also get the, um, some extra products too, to help you create your projects. So for this one, you're gonna get the hues, you get half a pack, so six by 12. Um, they're cut in six by 12. And get this beautiful paper, right? The beautiful hues of happiness paper. So you get half a package of that. And then I always like to include cardstock for you. So that's coordinating with the DSP so that you have a little selection of cardstock. So this month it's kind of all these fun bright colors. Um, Daftil Delight, Melon Mambo, Granny Apple Green, and Gorgeous Grape. And then you also get embellishments. So we've got this fun um, pool party ribbon that's going with it, and you get um, some of the half a pack of the glossy dots assortments, which are made, of course, to perfectly match with the DSP. Um, and then, of course, there's the project, right? So you get the products, plus you're gonna learn how to make the projects. So the main project um, are two kind of fun fold cards and um, they're kind of like mini albums. So they kind of open up different ways and you can either make it an elaborate card or you can turn it into a mini album by simply adding in pictures and it could be a really fun, say you can even tweak it for yourself and make it a memento for um, a special relationship or trip or you can make it as a gift for somebody. So it's a really fun project. Um, and then this month I wanted to try something different so you let me know what you think about it, but I thought, so there's the main card class, but then I've just attached a card kit. So I hope it's not too confusing, but the card kit just means that you don't get any extra product. You just get, you get all the supplies that you need to make two cards. Okay. So you get, these are the cards and I do all the work. So I cut and I prep, I emboss, I die cut, I do all the things. And what you get to do is stamp. So you need a stamp set and an ink pad. Um, but you get to do all the stamping and you get to assemble the cards. So it's just like a fun little afternoon or evening of crafting, something that you can um, easily take with you to make somewhere. And so you get to make six cards for $20. So there's that option too. And by all means, if you want to do both, you can do both. So I just wanted to make sure I talked about that class for you. And if you have any questions, just let me know. If you want to sign up 
Um, I'll put the link, of course, here at the end, but just definitely go to my website as well, laritamariecrafts.ca, and there's a whole blog post about the class and how to register and all that information. Okay, so that's all the chit chat. Um, people are coming on a bit later today. I just wanted to make sure that you know that I did talk about hockey, so you can go back to the beginning. I mean, I said to jump on the bandwagon and just cheer for the flames. Okay, so <laughs> last night was the game. I'm just gonna put the camera down. And I just feel tired all the time because we're watching hockey every night. All right, one second here. There we go. Yeah, so it's been fun watching the Flames. That was a crazy game last night, right? Super crazy. I couldn't even, I don't know, two goals within the first minute. I was not expecting that. <laughs> I was like, what is happening? All right, I see people have talked about their wish lists a little bit. Yes, in colors. In colors are just so fun this year. And I'll be showing off one of the in colors again today. Okay, sorry, I'm just kind of make sure this is all set up. Okay, so today I want to share about the He's the Man suite. So this is an awesome suite for making masculine cards. Or, you know, we say masculine, but come on, it could be for anybody. Um, I'm thinking that it's super fun for scrapbooking too, don't you think? So here it is in your catalog for page 78 and 79. And um, this is the whole suite. So suites are four products put together. So you get the stamp set, the dies. This one comes with fun designer series paper, which I'll show you in a second, and um, embellishments here, these metallic dots. So I'm gonna show you everything live and in person here. So the first thing I wanna show is the designer series paper. So this one's super fun. So it's kind of browns and oranges and soft succulent, just the green. Um, okay, so here, let's do one by one. So this one's fun because it's kind of like barbecue themed. And I love this one because it's kind of perfect for any guy. Like it's not super specific. Like, oh, you know, my husband doesn't golf or my dad is not into golfing or whatever and then you're kind of out of luck it's like <laughs> totally something for everybody I mean who doesn't like to barbecue right barbecue kind of ties and shoes and stuff um cars so classic kind of cars and here's just um a fun pattern and this one's camping so cute and then um on the back side you got plaid you got your kind of patterns you know of course coordinating patterns to kind of go with anything that one's kind of checked if you can see that. And love this one with the stripes. So you get f five sheets. No, can I say this? Five designs, two of each. Because, not six, you're wondering, why not six? Because this one comes with two sheets ooh, of die cuts. I don't know if Stampin' Up! has done this before, but I think it's so much fun. So they just pop out, they're just paper, and they pop out super easily. And there's, again, something for everybody, right? Camping, tools, cheers to all your years, um, barbecuing, strong and courageous, you're a champ. I mean, really, it can be used for so, so many different occasions. Super fun. So those are the die cuts. And then let's show you the stamp set. So he's all that. This is a stamp set. And then here's everything stamped so you can see it. Um, sorry, just feel like I'm off the screen a little bit today. Okay. Um, so here's everything stamped. So happy birthday to a classic. Every day with you is another adventure together for the long haul. Holy smokes, you're amazing to the man who does everything. So you're getting up the cars, you got adventure, camping, barbecue, tools. It's covering all the bases. <laughs> you got Hello Handsome with a little mustache. You got this cute little like, I think it's like a button. And then this number one, and then two kind of, um, actually it's just one, I just stamped it twice, but it's like a little corner piece. And then this little arrow, love this guy. So then of course you've got the dies that um, all match. So first, what I love about this one is that we've got these label ones that all coordinate with the stamp set. 
and they're all create an embossed edge, which is my favorite thing. Right, so you've got the rectangle one, you've got the circle one, which can go for two. This one also would fit either, the circle actually fits this one as well. Then you've got this oval, and then we've got this cute little arrow, and then we've got this one too, which could be used, you know, for any of the ones as well, or layer them up. So let's show you those cut out. So arrow, here's all the shapes. And you can see they've all got an embossed edge on them. So they're super nice. And then there's some other fun shapes. So we've got some um, banner shapes, which are so versatile. I mean, you can use this for anything, right? And so you've got this one that's gonna cut out two at once and they're just straight like this. And then you've got these two, which are gonna cut out slightly on a curve. So I love those, so fun. And then we've got these cool Argyle kind of dies. <laughs> and this is what they look like cut out. So, I mean, that's gonna create a great background if you cut out those, so you get two. So you could cut out two at once. So there's all the pieces. Um, the dies are very fun and I feel like even if you weren't into masculine cards, the dies would be super useful to have because look at, I mean, those label shapes are just so much fun. So be good for anything really. So I'm going to show you two cards. One is gonna be with the suite and then one is going to be with a totally different color scheme to show you kind of outside of the suite what it could look like. So let's get started. The first, thing we're going to do here is we've got a card base, which is early espresso. So just five and a half by four or eight and a half by five and a half cut in. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. <laughs> eight and a half by five and a half scored in half at four and a quarter. Okay. And then I've got a piece of Sahara sand. These are all the colors from the suite and I've just cut an eighth of an inch smaller. So four and one eighth by five and three eighths. And then I've just chosen a piece of the DSP. Okay. So this one has the stripes on one side barbecue on the other and what I'm going to do is cut down at four inches by five and a quarter and then I am going to cut out something here so I am going to grab from the new stylish shape dies the biggest square and we are going to cut out a square from here so I'm going to have to grab my sample cut and emboss machine and once I get my metallic plate, this is going to be a bit easier, but I'm going to kind of put this centered and a little bit more to the top and then we're going to just run that through. Then what we've got take that away is okay so this has got the stitching on both sides which is awesome because then when you remove the piece you've cut out you've still got the stitching on the outside and then this one still has the stitching so it's good either way but what we're going to do is we're going to use this piece and just put it right back in but then just using the pattern on the other side it's not fun so that's just some simple trick you can do. And then that's the beauty of the, you know, double sided paper. And I mean, you could turn this into like kind of like a peekaboo card too, as well. If you wanted to cut through all the card stock and then have that peeking through the other side, that would work as well. And then I'm just using my stamp and seal. And then we're just gonna center that. And then we're going to put our cutout piece. And 
and I love this barbecue one with the pigs and the barbecue sauce and the cow. It's so much fun. <laughs> and then you can see it's kind of like a fun peekaboo thing without peekaboo. Anyway, <laughs> something simple to do. And then we're going to do our sentiment on top. So the first thing I'm going to do is stick with my barbecue theme. So it says, holy smokes, you're amazing. And I'm going to use Cajun craze. And doing this today, I realize I need a new Cajun craze, or at the very least, an ink refill. It's kind of, it needs a bit more. But I'm gonna stamp it on crushed curry. And then I'm going to, we're gonna cut it out with the coordinating shape. And then of course, we get that right there. I'll cut it ready to go. And then I'm going to use one of the label pieces. So this is soft succulent and I'm going to layer these up together here. So after this card, I do have one more card. So stick around for that. So we're just going to center that on there. And then I'm going to use um, the curved banner pieces. So this is in crushed curry as well. And then I'm just going to put a little adhesive on the ends and then just kind of make it look like it's coming out. And then it just kind of looks like a banner, right? Cause they curve the opposite direction. So I really like that. So Father's Day is really what? Less than a month away, less than a month. And in our family, it's also my dad's birthday. Basically it's always the same weekend. <laughs> So it's always just been a big dad weekend. And so looking forward to celebrating my husband and my dad. So you could definitely have time to get this paper. Oh, I should have put that in a bit more. Make sure it doesn't stick off your card. We got lots of time to get this paper or the bundle and time to make some fun Father's Day cards or if you've got um, birthdays coming up too, of course or graduations. You could tweak it a little bit maybe. The adventure one would be good for graduations. And then I want to show off the, oh, because I forgot earlier. So this is the embellishment that goes with, this is the rustic metallic adhesive backed dots. So these are really fun, kind of metal looking here. And I'm going to take I should probably use my take your pick tool as I'm already losing them. Remember, use the sticky end and it's just so convenient. And I'm just gonna put uh, three in a row under there. And there's our first card. So not too complicated. And then of course we can put in an inside um, and stamp like the wishing you a happy Father's Day. And then maybe we could put the little barbecue in there with the die cuts. Fun. <laughs> All right, so the second, oh, I wanted to show you another sample that I've already done um, with the cars. So for my dad, I think either the barbecue or the cars would be perfect. It's not much into camping, so I'll have to use that for someone else. <laughs> but happy birthday to a classic. So I like that one. So I've just used the car paper, um, made kind of that like metal looking, and then I added a little um, linen thread behind there and then cut out another square from another pattern of the DSP. All right, so now I want to show you a card with a completely different color scheme. So this is one of my favorite things when people show off sweets when I see other demonstrators do things is like, okay, so this is what it looks like in the suite. And then sometimes it's hard to see it outside of those colors and so today I wanted to show you um, a completely different color scheme for you. So um, I'm going to start with crumb cake and then the colors that we're going to be working with are, I can find all my pieces here, I'm missing a piece, missing a piece. no it's there, okay. We're going to use one of the new in colors, or two of them, sorry, Starry Sky. 
Tahitian Tide and Shaded Spruce. What do you think about those colors together? I think they look awesome together. And I wanna show you a fun little technique. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create a little background on my card. And so an easy way to do that, and I've done this a few times recently, so I kinda like doing it right now, <laughs> is like a tone on tone look. And it just um, is an easy way to create a background onto your card. And so I'm gonna grab my crumb cake ink, and then I'm gonna use the everyday with you as another adventure. And then I'm just going to stamp around the edge. Just like so. And then we're going to create something that goes on top to fill the middle. And so what I wanna do is I've got a piece of crumb cake again, just as a base. And then I'm going to um, put strips of cardstock on. So I'm going to use, I'm going to cut it out with a stitched rectangle dies. So I've chosen this one. And so I've just cut my cardstock slightly bigger than my rectangle. And then we're going to put our adhesive. Just make sure you definitely have it all along the edge and then also in the middle. And then I've cut one inch strips from my cardstock. And so I'm starting with Starry Sky, and then I'm gonna, and I can go over a little bit too. Then I'm gonna add the Tahitian Tide, and then I'm gonna add the Shaded Spruce, and I'm just gonna trim off the excess, and it doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm gonna grab these ones again, and I'm gonna put another piece of Starry Sky, and then another piece of Tahitian Tide. And then I'm just gonna trim these off again. And then what we wanna do is cut this out using our stitched rectangle die. So let's grab the machine again. And so when you do it like this, when you attach it to another piece of cardstock, get all your strips on there, it looks like you know, one cohesive unit after you cut it out. And I find the rectangles, I'm gonna do it at an angle. When I'm running it through my machine, I find if it's the point as opposed to the flat edge, it's gonna run through your machine um, a bit easier there. It's gonna fight you less. Oh yeah, see that's much easier. And I'm actually, because I'm going through so much cardstock, I'm gonna just run it back a second time. All right, and then we can peel that off. And yep, yeah, so second time, two times worked great. The first time I only did it once and it was a little stuck in a couple places. But just because you're running through two layers of cardstock. But then you can see with the stitched edging, it kind of like melds it all together and it looks really awesome like that. So this is gonna be kind of the fun feature of our card. And I'm just gonna put some more seal on the back of that. And then just gonna center that onto my card. And then now we need our sentiment. And so just to save on some time here, I've done this already ahead of time. But on Shaded Spruce, I'm gonna use the same sentiment that we stamped the background with. So Every Day With You is another adventure. And I stamped it in, Vis in Versamark. He embossed it in white. Then cut it out with this lovely coordinating die. And then we have this. And I think the white on the Shaded Spruce, oof, just looks so good. So good. <laughs> and then I just wanna create a couple little background things. This is like super crooked. Sometimes you can peel it off a little bit. It's bugging me. Okay, so I've gone ahead and cut out a couple banner pieces in the starry sky. 
And then I've got a piece of the DSP designer series paper, the in color ones. So there are four patterns. And what I love this year is that you kind of have like a floral pattern, a polka dot pattern, then there's a plaid one and the stripes. And the stripes works perfectly for masculine curves. And I'm just gonna cut a half inch strip of that. And then I'm just gonna snip it about in half. And I'm gonna put a little seal in the middle of both of those. And then on the back of each of my banner pieces. And then I'm just kind of create a little background for my sentiment. So I'm just kind of making an X. And then I'm going to layer the banner pieces on. And then before you stick it down good, just make sure I've got it spread out enough. And then we're going to put some dimensionals on the back of our sentiment. So it's always fun to show you um, how the new ink colors work with some of our classic colors. And I think this color combo was super fun. And then I'm just gonna put that on top. Oh, make sure your compass is straight. <laughs> and then every day is an adventure with you. And I feel like that could be good for any occasion. And then we're gonna add a couple more of these metallic dots. And then there's this cute little number one stamp. So I'll show you my sample here in a minute, but I just wanted to add a little something. So I stamped that in Starry Sky, cut it out, and um, I'll show you what that looks like here. So here's the completed card. So that just adds a little extra something, but you do or don't need it depending on how you feel. And if you're not into embossing or don't have all the embossing stuff yet, then I stamped the shaded spruce on the crumb cake um, just to give you a different look. So if you weren't able to emboss, then there's still a fun way you can make this exact card. So there's a couple options there. All right, so there are all our fun He's the Man cards. And just hang on one second while I bring you guys back up. So thanks so much as usual for hanging out with me today. Um, I hope you like those cards and you've got lots of time to get that paper in time for um, Father's Day, which is just around the corner really. Time is, you know, just keeps trucking along, doesn't it? <laughs> and don't forget about my May Stamp and Create class. Registration is open until next Thursday. Um, so you don't want to miss out on this one, so register today. And I guess it's the long weekend this weekend, so I just want to wish you all a very happy long weekend. And here's hoping for a little bit of sunshine, hopefully later on, and I hope you have a great time, and I will see you all back here next Thursday. Bye-bye.